Christian Wood is officially a Laker. This came out of nowhere. We haven't got free agency news for how long, and the rumors were actually true, and that usually never happens when you're a Lakers fan. I know a lot of people probably angry over this. How much help does LeBron need? All the narratives that are around social media. But as a true Lakers fan, I am very, very excited. Number one, because we just got a very underrated player. A player who is capable of being in a starting lineup in today's NBA. And number two, with our last roster spot, we needed a big and we probably got the best big man on the market just a couple days ago it was announced that javel mcgee was released by the mavericks and that's who i really wanted a rim protector a defender to help anthony davis like he did in 2020 i think a lot of lakers fans can agree that this year we want to see anthony davis at the four more often because that's what gave us some success in 2020 when we won the championship dwight howard javel mcgee and we started free agency off pretty strong getting jackson hayes who is similar to a javel McGee. He's athletic and he could play defense. He's a great shot blocker at the rim. And that takes us to Christian Wood, who isn't exactly that. Now, Christian Wood is a great rim protector. He is a great shot blocker. But there has been a lot of questions about Christian Wood's defense over the last couple of years. Think back just about two to three years ago. Christian Wood was a big name. When he started getting hype when he was on the Pistons, the league started to take watch of him. He really took off. After the Pistons, when Christian Wood played for the Houston Rockets, he had a really solid two years. His first year he only played a total of 41 games but in those 41 games he averaged 21 points a game he also averaged 10 rebounds a game and he averaged 1.2 blocks a game following year 18 points on 10 rebounds and again he had a block a game and then he went to dallas where things were a lot different for him because in this season he only started 17 games this was kind of a big storyline for dallas and it kind of shocked me i thought he was going to be good playing alongside luka Doncic, but he barely ever was in the starting lineup he only started 17 times Times. And I'm not just going to sit here and claim that Dallas misused him because I don't really think he did have the best year. But that being said, I do think Dallas comes up with the weirdest rotations in the world. JaVale McGee was not utilized at all in a year where Dallas needed a center. Dallas struggled at the center position last year. And I know there's a lot of Dallas Mavericks fans that were very vocal about Christian Wood's defense and the fact that JaVale McGee doesn't know how to do a pick and roll. But these two big men that just got released and picked up by new teams are very underrated. And I think in the perfect situation for both of them can still be a really good role player. Christian Wood only started 17 games last year. That's almost as much as he'd started when he was on the Detroit Pistons back in 2019-2020 at age 24 years old when he was just starting to make a name for himself. And it's kind of sad because last year for Dallas, he played 67 games, which is the second most in his NBA career. He only averaged about 26 minutes a game last year with Dallas, which was a huge drop off from the prior 32 and 31 with Houston. He saw his field goal attempts go down from around 13 attempts playing with Houston to around 11 and a half with Dallas. But he actually shot a higher field goal percentage with Dallas, and he still shot 38% from three. He was a very efficient offensive player. A lot of people were talking about his defense and they were talking about his effort on defense and it's hard to judge defense based on stats but solely looking at the stats his block numbers didn't go down at all he still averages one block a game on five plus minutes less a game he averaged the same amount of blocks as he did in houston in a season where he only started 17 games and he still averaged 16 and a half points a game his numbers didn't really drop off that much from houston christian wood is still a solid player and he is definitely worth way more than what he just got. Christian Wood signed a two-year deal with the Los Angeles Lakers. The second year includes a player option. So he can opt out if he wants, and more than likely he probably will if he has a solid season because he needs to get his value back up. Christian Wood playing in Dallas really messed up his value because let's be honest, he is a center that should be making more than $2.7 a year because that's what he just got with LA. Christian Wood tweeted out, and he said, it's always been my dream to be a Laker. Christian Wood is barely 27 years old and he grew up in Long Beach, California, which is probably why he always wanted to be like. He's a six foot nine, big 214 pounds with a seven foot three wingspan. And he saw his salary decrease from around $13 million a year to 2.7. I'm not gonna lie, as a Lakers fan, I'm very, very shocked because most of the time it just feels like it's much harder for the Lakers to succeed in free agency or through trading with other teams 
because we always have a target on our back because we are the greatest franchise in NBA history. And there was going to be one team this offseason that was able to get a cheap Christian Wood, but not a lot of teams took the chance on this. And a lot of people probably questioning why. I'm not going to lie, I don't know the full details of the situation, so I'm not going to act like I do. But one thing that does kind of make sense, this contract that Christian Wood just got is kind of a prove it contract. It's kind of like a temporary contract, which is why there is a player option attached to it because he is worth more than $2.7 million. But unfortunately, because of the way that Dallas misused him last year, or people may say his poor defensive effort, his value went from $13 million to $2.7. And a lot of teams didn't want to take a chance on that temporary contract, knowing that he might leave in the offseason. And there's always that chance with the Lakers. If he has a good season, he should leave. He should decline his player option and get more money. And in all honesty, the Lakers are not going to be able to pay him more money. But there's always the chance that he decides to stay with the Lakers and pick up that player option. Christian Wood seems pretty happy. He's playing for his team that he's always wanted to play for. He's coming into a prove it year, so he has a lot to prove to all the doubters, all the GMs and teams that didn't want him. He's probably going to get a lot more minutes with the Lakers, and he's definitely going to get his name up after this season, especially if the Lakers are able to make another deep playoff run. We already seen what happened with Rui Achimura. He revived his career with the LA Lakers. Austin Reeves, players like that. But the fact that the Lakers just got a very, very solid center who averages about 17 points a game at this point of his career on 10 rebounds with a block a game and shoot 37% from three, over 50% from the field and got him for $2.7 million, I am extremely, extremely happy and surprised at the same time because I would have just been happy with JaVale McGee. I understand he's kind of an undersized big at six foot nine, but his offense is gonna make up for it, especially when AD rests. Now, I think the rotation could be looking a lot different for the Lakers because Rob Polinka already previously spoken a little bit ago and mentioned that he wants to have Anthony Davis at the four this season and that means Jackson Hayes is probably going to get a lot of starts in my opinion maybe hopefully I think Christian Wood is going to be really solid off the bench for the Los Angeles Lakers something similar to the impact that Dwight Howard had on our 2020 team JaVale McGee was the starter for that rim protection to help Anthony Davis out we already seen in the playoffs last year that Anthony Davis is a great defender when he is roaming around so now we could have Jackson Hayes take care of guarding the primary center and have Anthony Davis as a help defender. And then we have Christian Wood coming in once Anthony Davis gets tired and that is more scoring when Anthony Davis comes off the court. Normally when AD came off the court, our offense took a huge hit, but now we have a 17 points a game score on our bench in Christian Wood. His numbers might go down or they could go up, but I don't even think they need to be that high. Just the fact that we have him now off the bench for when AD comes out, I'm extremely happy with. Now, is Christian Wood a center or power forward? I don't know. That's up for you to debate. But last season, we had Winyan Gabriel. So replace Christian Wood with Winyan Gabriel? I am very happy. And I am extremely excited to see how this season is going to go. Because on paper, our team looks really good. It looks a lot similar to the 2020 team. And even that 2021 team, which I think would have went further without the injuries. But let's just say I think this is a great move for the LA Lakers. Let me know how you guys are feeling about this down below in the comments. Let your voice be heard. Are you angry about it? Do you think it's a good move for the Lakers? Do you think it's a bad move for the Lakers? Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions on this down below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the video, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. And I hope every single one you guys that's watching this far is blessed keep them spirits high man this is zite peace